बेसिकली So today we have a very very special guest. He is Mr. Sanskar, and today we are going to discuss with him that what has been his strategy, what has been his preparation, and according to which, based on which, he has qualified this RBI Grade B exam. So, in se baate karte hain, and I'm sure that he's going to be a wonderful inspiration for a lot of you. So, heartiest congratulations, Sanskar, and thank you for joining us on our channel. Thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone. Hi. Okay, so Sanskar, the very first question that everyone would like to know that can you brief us about your educational qualification? What has been your work experience, and how many attempts have you taken before you have qualified this prestigious exam of RBI Grade? Yeah, so I have done civil engineering from NIT Bhopal, and uh, I from uh, a short while before I joined as SBI PO, and uh, I gave the RBI attempt last year also, but uh, could not clear the phase one examination. So, but uh, right this time I did clear it fortunately. So currently working as SBI PO, I'm here the RBI exam. Wonderful. So heartiest congratulations, Sanskar, once again because I can understand that being a working professional, it has it would have been a very challenging task to prepare simultaneously. And nevertheless, you have qualified this prestigious exam, and and you're going to do wonderful in your life ahead. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, Sanskar, that brings me to the next question: that what was your first thought and your feeling? when you saw your roll number in the final list because there are very few students who are actually able to make it to the final selection round so how was your feeling how did you feel so the first feeling was shock obviously i checked my result twice and asked one of my friend to check the result also so because i did not know ki hoga ki nahi hoga because obviously the interview was okay phase 2 was especially dicey very much this time because right. there was very much uncertainty regarding the descriptive paper so it was a shock but uh, then relief that yes finally yes right yes so i also feel that when you're putting a lot of efforts i'm sure that you must have prepared well and you must have strategized everything ki kis tarike se phase 1 prepare karna hai kis tarike se phase 2 prepare karna hai and then of course the interview so i'm sure that everything paid off and that had led you to qualify this prestigious exam it's a definitely i think it's some of all parts right. there's no uh, specific silos with, which can even can identify right. especially for me i think uh, the banking background helped me in the phase 1 uh, the current affairs part i had to prepare a bit extra and uh, for phase 2 sir obviously there has to there had to be syllabus wise topic wise strategy for that right so i pursued that right Sanskar now that brings me to a very important question that since this is the very first time when the exam pattern has changed and the RBI exam has become partly descriptive now so how have you actually prepared for the descriptive part that is economic and social issues as well as finance and man so uh, regarding the descriptive part since there was very less time i think just two months time to prepare for it so the one thing i did was went through the syllabus left everything else went through the syllabus and highlighted some topics which i thought is that ki ha yahan se there may be some descriptive regard and also in the context of the current affairs newspaper right. jo padha rahe hain usme se i highlighted some topics and prepared points on those main topics uh, right. second thing i also did was uh, downloaded the uh, previous years sub descriptive paper jo pehle rbi mein i think 2013 14 ke aas paas hote the right. i prepared those topics first and through that i identified certain topics because the time was very less so i had to prepare for phase 1 and then for phase 2 i had to uh, make some notes and regarding that so for that i went through a point wise approach that i decided that i'll answer the questions in points right so i think that paid paid well because wo preparation ko thoda short bhi kar deta hai aur uh, answer writing mein bhi thoda sa effective rehta hai right so i think if you are making points so wo exam mein likhne mein help bhi karta hai and you have actually gone through that process actually aapne descriptive writing ki practice kari hogi that would have actually help you write those answers that in that short span of time yes sir definitely because the uh, 
भले ही अभी प्रैक्टिस का क्योंकि ज्यादा टाइम नहीं था तो जितना हो सका आई रोड थ्रू पेन एंड पेपर टाइपिंग का उतना टाइम नहीं मिला था बट ऑब्वियसली uh, थोड़ा सा अगर पुराना याद रहता है बिकॉज बिकॉज दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट डिस्क्रिप्टिव पेपर द आई थॉट द क्वेश्चन आर बाउंड टू बी बिट ऑन द बेसिक साइड दैट दे लास्ट द बेसिक्स फ्रॉम फीडबैक Uh, previously since the exam was objective it was i think people said 3 4 months was okay if you had some background of general current affairs and general knowledge but i think with the descriptive you have to put in a bit more effort uh, maybe 7 to 8 months and even i think more of it uh, you have to practice obviously the answer writing and the second thing because this was the first time that the paper was descriptive it might have been people were uh, unaware of the pattern but the right. next time there is going to be greater competition obviously because people will be aware people will be studying and so you have to put in greater effort and have to put in smartness in writing your answers right so i think so, a year year long preparation comfortably maybe i think with some regular newspaper following and some your own notes and some other coaching notes if you can i think that will help. right that makes sense also because zara tar exams jo abhi tak ho rahe the they were very mcq types and objective times so answer writing ki practice bhi nahi thi students ko practice and probably because if you have left your graduation do teen saal ho gaye hain graduation and padhai kiye hue so obviously aadat chhoot jati hai answers likhne ki so you will have to get into that rolling as that, well and otherwise for engineers it's also challenging to write such descriptive answers so right. you have to find a balanced way that ki jo point form mein hoga to thoda sa comfortable hoga sir Right, and that also helps you score marks because when points are there, the the evaluator is also able to judge the answers and the quality of answers in a much more comprehensive manner. Comprehensive and more objectively. You don't have to read the whole thing. Right, right, makes sense. Mani sir, hi Sanskar. Uh, first of all, many congratulations on clearing this prestigious exam. Thank you, sir. So, I would like to ask Sanskar. So, uh, there are various students. So many students are confused that. uh while prepare uh, during the preparation which should be hame kaun sa jo phase hai wo pehle uthana chahiye phase 1 pehle uthana chahiye ya phase 2 pehle uthana chahiye which phase should be pick first so what was your strategy regarding that what did you pick up phase pick up first phase 1 or phase 2 uh sir because there is a slight difference for me i was i benefited from my banking preparation for phase 1 but uh, uh i think the phase 2 preparation has to go on simultaneously in the sense that you have to start reading the newspaper you have to start being aware of the current affairs you can initially you can focus on phase 1 uh, improve your maths and reasoning skills because obviously there is going to be competition so you have to work on that too reasoning and current affairs skills so in the initial maybe if it's an year long preparation for anyone So then, initial one, one or one and a half months, one can fo- intensively focus on uh, phase one. But since now the time is going to be less, so I think uh, phase one deserves. For me, sir, phase one deserves a bit more attention than it uh, gets. I think because it's qualifying here and it's a bit difficult for everyone. Phase two, ka, sir, because it's completely different from finance and management. So, once you are in phase one, you are comfortable with. then one should start preparing intensively for phase 2 phase 1 ka pehle hona zaruri hai sir for me so basically you are saying that during a year long preparation one should give 2 3 months to phase 1 and then move yes. on to phase 2 right phase 2 yes and continue with the practice the practice is important for phase 1 because if kya hota hai maths ek bar pad ke fir ek mahine ka bhi gap aa gaya to people will forget how to yes. calculate yes. you have so to practice हाँ. So continuous practice continuously practice. revise karna bahut zaruri hai revise karna bahut zaruri hai okay sanskar so now let's talk about the sources that you have followed for phase 1 and phase 2 both let's do it subject wise start let's start it from phase 1 uh, subject wise sources aapke kya the uh, can you please share your strategy of the sources uh sir so for phase 1 uh, i relied mostly on youtube videos 
uh, various channels there are various channels for for mathmat concepts on mathematics or reasoning so wahan se practice agar aapko if you can get some of the mock papers and all for the current affairs also i relied mostly on the internet uh, your spotlight is i think spot on and other sources also for phase 1 i refer to that uh, for phase 2 sir i picked the syllabus i basically picked the syllabus so for economy i read through the ramesh singh book uh, and created my basics and uh, i followed through economic survey wo bhale hi utna kaam ka nahi ho but it helps you refine your concepts on economics and that so, can I, be used in descriptive part that right? can be used used in descriptive part uh, apart from that sir mostly i think it for economic and social issues uh, newspapers helps a lot and the government schemes helps a lot because kyunki jo objective to chalo wo to aata hi hai especially in descriptive types uh you can put in various schemes in the answer they this time they asked uh, generic questions regarding your understanding of the indian economy so that can only be built through time with newspapers and all aisa nahi hota ki aap overnight usko 15 din mein aap pad lo aur wo cheez ho jaye so that can yes. be built through time yes uh various schemes can help to that so uh, for phase 2 for that and finance and management finance and management sir it was a bit tricky part Uh, because i do not have a background on that so i took a took help from one of my friends he 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 had an mba or uh, he was also preparing for rbi so he had some notes of uh, coaching ek baar to because time thoda sa mere paas finance and management ke liye limited time tha uh, main usko utna effectively pursue nahi kar paya tha so for i went to other coaching notes. so what is your tip basically for the upcoming uh, aspirants कि उनको किस तरीके से फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट को कवर करना चाहिए बिकॉज़ नाउ दैट यू हैव क्लियर्ड द एग्जाम सो यू कैन गिव देम अ रफ आईडिया कि किस तरीके से हमें फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट को अप्रोच करना चाहिए आई एग्री कि आपके पास टाइम नहीं था बट यस यू कैन नाउ गिव सम टिप्स टू द अपकमिंग एस्पिरेंट्स सर वन थिंग आई नोटिस एंड इट्स माय पर्सनल ओपिनियन कि कई बार क्या स्टूडेंट्स दे गो इनटू टू मच टेक्निकलिटीज इवन आर बी आई स्टेट दैट की बहुत बेसिक लेवल पर पूछेंगे वो लोग ऐसा नहीं है मतलब मे बी कुछ शायद न्यूमेरिकल्स वगैरह पूछ लें बट नो वन डी हैज टू गो थ्रू द टेक्निकलिटीज ऑफ फाइनेंस और टेक्निकलिटीज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड की वॉट फाइनेंस इज अबाउट वॉट मैनेजमेंट इज अबाउट और आप बेसिक डेफिनेशन को अगर आप यूल स्टडी तो यूल बी एबल टू आंसर फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस टाइम दस्ट वॉट इज कॉपोरेट गवर्नेंस सो दिस दिस आपको बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग होना चाहिए राधर देन गोइंग टू अच्छा जोहरी विंडो क्या है या सम ये रेशो का फॉर्मूला क्या है राधर देन गोइंग टू दैट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट वाई इज दैट रेशो इम्पॉर्टेंट और वाई इज दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट तो अब होल सम अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट राधर देन गोइंग टू टू मच टेक्निकल बेसिकली यू आर सींगट कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राधर देन गोइंग डीप इन टू एनी टॉपिक जर्नलिस्ट एग्जाम आरबीआई जो है वो ज़्यादा यू हैव टू कवर द विड द विड राधर देन डेप्थ ऑफ इट यस यस एब्सोल्युटली सो माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन संस्कार आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क सो वंस अगेन दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज़ दे आर जनरली कंफ्यूज्ड दैट व्हिच न्यूज़पेपर दे हैव टू फॉलो एंड हाउ दे हैव टू रीड द न्यूज़पेपर हाउ बिकॉज़ जनरली क्या होता है कि स्टूडेंट्स कहते हैं कि भाई एक से दो घंटा निकल गया न्यूज़पेपर पढ़ने में सो हाउ डिड यू टैकल दिस Which newspaper did you follow? Sir, so, uh, people say that uh, Business Standard or Alignment, but I personally, for the majority of time, did follow Indian Express. It was a basic generalist newspaper. For some, I followed Alignment for a time. For if there was some important news, if I was going to follow Indian Express, so I preferred Alignment, uh, the Mint uh, newspaper. For uh, any other, I think for any other newspaper you pick up, again there is there are good edu- editorials on the recent concepts. There is a कम्प्लीट इकोनॉमी पेज अगर आपको कुछ लग रहा है देन यू रेफर टू द इंटरनेट अगर कुछ समझ नहीं आया या आप फिर उस पर्टिकुलर न्यूज़ को लेकर आप दूसरे न्यूज़ पेपर के आर्टिकल्स नेट पर पढ़ सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेंट और बिजनेस स्टैंडर्ड बट आई थिंक वॉट हेल्प्स इज कंटिन्यूसली फॉलोइंग द एनी न्यूज पेपर दैट यू पिक फॉर दैट मैटर फॉर माई इंटरव्यू स्पेसिफिकली पीपल सेट कि हाँ बिजनेस स्टैंडर्ड में आई फाउंड पीपल डिबेटिंग मैनी टेक्निकल इशूज आई मेरे को लगा कि यार ये क्या कॉन्सेप्ट वाई आर दे डिस्कसिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस दिस कॉन्सेप्ट आर बी आई आई डोंट थिंक इट इट इज एक्सपेक्टिंग एन एक्सपर्ट ऑन एनी सब्जेक्ट मैटर यू हैव टू हैव द जनरल अंडरस्टैंडिंग तो आप न्यूज़पेपर जो भी फॉलो कर रहे हैं आप आर का फॉलो करें आप थोड़ा आर की वेबसाइट देखें 
uh, you just take general news and some editorials on the recent news that will help you improve your language and some terminologies to inculcate into your answers any newspaper for you pick i personally have followed indian express and to some extent mint all right so now uh, my next question is regarding the notes making so we can see a lot of pdfs are now available uh, available online a lot of books are now available online but so in this case the students are getting confused that they should make the notes or not and uh, whether they should make the notes online or, off, or offline so what was your strategy did you make any notes and if yes uh, so the notes were online or offline sir for me i am not an extensive note making person uh, i identify some important topics agar mujhe laga yaar ye syllabus mein i think this is an important concept to uska i make offline notes first of all but agar ye dynamic concepts hain for example koi government scheme hai ye ya koi jaise koi social issue hai jiska data frequently change hota hai unemployment hai poverty hai so and kuch na kuch data change hota rehta hai for that i use one note तो उसमें आई हैव मेड सम सेक्शन एंड उसमें कुछ न्यूज पेपर की कटिंग्स डाल के रख लेता है या कुछ साइड में हाईलाइट करके कुछ एक दो लाइन लिख के तो वो फिर विद टाइम क्या है वो रिफाइन हो जाता है क्योंकि अगर कुछ नया डेटा आ गया तो यू एडिट दैट नोट और जो स्टैटिक कॉन्सेप्ट है यू कैन मेक ऑफलाइन नोट ऑफ इट बट मोर ऑफ एन नॉट राधर देन मेकिंग नोट पीपल कैन फॉलो वन स्पेसिफिक सोर्सेज वन स्पेसिफिक सोर्स कि हम मेरे को जो रिवाइज करना हो यहाँ से करना है और अगर कोई कॉम्प्लिकेटेड कॉन्सेप्ट है देन दे कैन मेक नोट्स दे कैन मेक पॉइंट्स और अगर जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल डिस्क्रिप्टिव आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं तो उसमें जो आपने टॉपिक्स आइडेंटिफाई किए जो आपको इंपॉर्टेंट लग रहा है तो यू कैन जॉट इट डाउन डिस्क्रिप्टिव के लिए काफी इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है नोट मेकिंग हां डिस्क्रिप्टिव के लिए है सर इतनी सारी चीजें दिमाग में नहीं रखी जाती हां इतनी सारी चीजें नहीं करनी होती राइट सो संस्कार माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द एग्जाम एंड दैट इज द रिवीजन सो द स्टूडेंट्स जनरली आस्क मी दैट हाउ वी कैन कीप सो मेनी थिंग्स इन आवर माइंड इतनी सारी चीजें हमारे दिमाग में कैसे रखी जा सकती हैं सो व्हाट वाज योर प्रोसीजर ऑफ रिवीजन बिफोर द एग्जाम हाउ डिड यू रिवाइज एवरीथिंग देयर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स देयर आर सो मेनी डेटा देयर आर सो मेनी गवर्नमेंट स्कीम देयर आर सो मेनी इंफॉर्मेशन स्टैटिक करंट देयर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स सो हाउ व्हाट वाज योर अप्रोच रिगार्डिंग द रिवीजन so uh, the so, uh, regarding the revision there are different approaches for i think phase 1 and phase 2 for phase 1 kyunki current affairs is uh, it's data intensive jo current affairs aate hain so what i did was ki the current affairs magazine which i was referring to so, last 5 days i just went through that, that again ki kuch yaad reh jaye because you cannot jot down each and every current affairs from those magazines so you follow any one magazine and revise 6 months current affairs in the last few days for phase 1 for phase 2 sir uh, for descriptive i had make, made some notes ki agar koi important jo comprehensive topic hai jo static in nature hai uh, because i i believed i think i went with my hunch and that might be true for the next year also because in the descriptive they are not going to ask some current issue hmm. they are going to ask a broader issue with current le- relevance so you prepare notes for the bro- those broader issues referring the syllabus and you prepare them or current to sir jaise agar aap follow kar rahe hain newspaper so you will remember much of it for data uh, i use one note jo alag alag sections hain i kept updating them so uh, in the last moment i just revised revised my those static notes and uh, different data for the descriptive and uh, for the objective type i referred to some uh, videos the latest videos jo aap log dalte hain kuch websites marathon videos dalte hain kuch youtube channel marathon videos dalte hain so for objective i refer to that for the video so basically uh, revision karna sabse zyada important hai bina revision ke exam revision ke to sir bina revision ke to sir aage part piche sab part ho jata hai yes yes aage padte jayenge piche ka aur padte jayega like so now shubham sir has some something to ask you regarding your exam sanskar now we have spoken about your strategy about the sources that you have referred now the last question but the very important question how did you actually prepare for your interview stage did you had some mocks did you took took some mocks also whether there were some unexpected questions and if yes then how did you actually tackle them so for uh, interview this time there was a long period in between the results right. and there was a lot of uncertainty so i had to we even all the aspirants had to prepare through different annual reports prepare preparing rbi annual report ip functions and working ip but i think the most important 
preparation for the interview are the newspapers and the RBI website. Just right. go through the two of them, and that will be more than enough. And there's the RBI document. I think the functions and working document is there. अगर और कुछ नहीं पढ़ रहे हो अगर आप न्यूज पेपर और वो डॉक्यूमेंट पढ़ लियो देन आई थिंक इट इज मोर देन इनफ फॉर द इंटरव्यू यू हैव टू जस्ट गो देर एंड बी प्रेजेंट बी प्रेजेंट योर सेल्फ विद कॉन्फिडेंस आप उनको कन्विंस कर सो दैट वॉट एवर द डिसीजन दैट यू हैव मेड अर्लियर इन योर लाइफ दैट आर योर्स दैट आर वेल थॉट एंड द कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी दैट यू हैव यू हैव टू गो विद द अटर मोस्ट द बेसिक थिंग्स interview my interview went uh, because i was working in sbi so most of it was in sbi so i had prepared specifically for that on the balance sheet i had prepared the annual report of the sbi so uh, yeah more or less it went into there a few questions i could not answer despite the uh, so there there's nothing i'd say unexpected because everything has to be expected in the interview aap se kuch bhi pooch sakte hain so i i went in prepared ki bhai jo bhi hoga i'll be just completely honest nahi aata hai i just said ki sir i don't know ek question mein they asked me uh, what is the difference between forex reserves of rbi and other countries for example china and south korea i had read it i did could not remember it so i asked them if i could guess it when said they go on so then i this is i did not remember anything so just go on and be yourself be confident i think that is well that is not the test of your knowledge kuch bhi kahe log there are but i believe i still do believe that it is not a test of your knowledge just your presentation and your content. right basically they are trying to check your personality that how your personality whether you are going to be a right person right person for the profile of the rbi grid yes sir right. yes i just say don't Don't think too much while going into the interview. Just have a blank mind or trust whatever you have read before. Right, right. I think I think you have beautifully summed up everything, Sanskar. And I'm sure that all all those who are going to listen to you, all those who are going to watch this interview, are going to be uh, getting hugely inspired for two reasons. One, that you have been working, uh, which becomes very challenging if you are preparing simultaneously. And second, you also put a very right point here. It's not important to answer all the questions. कई बार स्टूडेंट्स के दिमाग में होता है कि हर क्वेश्चन आंसर करना जरूरी है अगर एक क्वेश्चन उनको नहीं आता या एक दो क्वेश्चन नहीं आंसर कर पाते हैं तो दे लूज देयर कॉन्फिडेंस एंड पर्सनालिटी देयर सारी कामनेस उनकी लूज आउट हो जाती है वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड वाज ग्रिल्ड वेरी हार्ड इन द इंटरव्यू ही वाज लाइक कि आई एम नॉट क्लियरिंग एग्जामिनेशन बट ही डिड सो देयर इज नो हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल कि हां इसी से होगा या इससे नहीं होगा जस्ट गो ऑन बी योरसेल्फ आई थिंक दैट इज मोर देन जस्ट बी ऑनेस्ट आई थिंक इफ यू आर जस्ट बीइंग ऑनेस्ट देयर जस्ट बीइंग काम देयर देन यू विल गेट you will get through yes. right so thank you so much sanskar it has been lovely talking to you it has been wonderful and i'm sure that it's going to be very helpful to a lot of future aspirants so thank you so much and heartiest mm-hmm. congratulations for your wonderful future and journey ahead as a rbi grade officer thank, thank you, you once again thank you sir.